Alrighty guys, check it out. Copper chisel, copper mace, copper sword, copper saw, copper pro pick, copper scythe, copper axe, copper pick. We are all coppered up. And we are frying up some more salad bowls and a couple more tool molds. And this is what we've got left from our mining excursion the other time. And we've got 20 units of copper left over. I melted 12 of these and it gave me 420 units of copper. Alrighty. Give me these. I will take them. Let's see. Take that and that. I need most of this stuff. Actually, I don't need the chisel right now. Let's put that guy back. Where is he? Right there he is. Everything else I think I'm going to keep. Uh, but off camera, ooh, this stuff is done. What do we got? Bowls. I made a ton of bowls. I was out of salad bowls. Sixteen bowls. I think that is a couple tool molds. I made another um, pick and pro pick mold because I believe I can make bronze right away. Off camera, the other time after we did the sluice experience when I was experiment when I was going off that direction, I found casserite, and I'm pretty sure between eight and twelve percent casserite, and the rest copper will give us bronze. So I'm going to go see if I can find that again. And no, I need ladders first. So I'm going to get some ladders made up, and then I'm going to see if I can find that, and I'll meet up with you once I find it. Okay, it's here somewhere. A uh, very large sample of casserite. Here's ore, surface ore. Nothing of interest. Here's more. I don't. I don't. I don't know. It's getting dark. I need to head down. Um, I guess. Ha 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 ha! Right here. I guess. Sword. 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 Okay. Looks like I'm safe for the time being. Stay away. Uh, get a ladder out. I should not have put all my ladders away. There we go. I think if I put a ladder there, it'll stay put, I hope. Once we get down far enough, they'll die when they fall down here anyway. And I don't have much pick left. I should have made another one. Actually, I fired up another tool mold. It won't take long to make another one now that we've got copper. Uh, let's see. What's it saying here? Very large. Alrighty. Uh, let's go down about one or two more so that we don't run into the gravel. One, two, alrighty. So we came up. And I guess next we'll do our tunnel system and find out where the center of the vein is and dig down from there. So let me do that off camera and I'll meet up with you pretty soon. That didn't take long. This is where I came down. Haha, <laughs> this is where I found the casserite. Now, let's see if it's rich, poor, or normal. It is poor. Hmm. Well, uh, each ore can either be poor, normal, or rich. If you shift, hold, press and hold shift while your mouse is over it, it tells you how many units per. A nugget there is. This has 15 units of casserite. It's not casser. Uh, it's cassiterite. Cassiterite? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, casserole. I just call it casserole. So there's 15 units of casserole per ore. The rich stuff has 35. The normal stuff has 25. So it's not great, but it doesn't take very much of this stuff uh, when, we when we combine it with the copper. I do believe, we'll find out pretty soon, that we will get bronze. And so I'm going to make a bronze pick and pro pick, and that'll be um, that'll be good enough for us for a while. Uh, one more thing while we're down here mining away. If you notice, whenever I mine these rocks, all I get is um, 
stones here and we can you know fit four of them together and make cobble or since we don't use mortar to cement it together we can also take it apart again so that's kinda cool but if you want an actual stone you have to mine away all six sides of the stone so if I'm so this the back side and, the, and this side is exposed if I mine this away and this away and the top away like that, that stone will actually drop. There's nothing supporting it, and so we actually get an actual diorite raw stone. So that's how that works, and we will need to do that later on. I just thought I'd show you while I thought about it. And I'm going to mine a little bit of this up, not much, a little bit of it, and then we're going to go see if I remember how to make bronze. So let me get a little bit more of this, and once I'm cooking up a batch, I'll meet you back at the hut. Well, I did say I'd meet you back at the hut, but it's only hour four. I'm kind of done mining. I didn't get that much. I only got 16 pieces of it, but I'm done. Got my sword out. I'm going to head up, and we can see how effective our sword is against zombies. Yikes. whole bunch of them here. Let's not get ambushed here now. Okay, let's check this out. One hit, two hit. What? Two hits on a bronze sword. Ha! Huh, that's pretty good. Yeah, oh, that was close. Two hits. Wow, I am impressed. Which, you know what? Somebody hit me twice with a big piece of bronze. It would. Uh oh. Okay. Uh. This isn't good. Spider. And I hear a skeleton. Uh, uh, not good. Did the spider just kind of forget about me? Well, I'll remind it that I'm here. Although I don't like the sound of that. Or that. Ay, ay, ay. Get out of here. That guy's burning. Man! Oh, now he's in the shade. I really want to get this spider. I want string. But I'm out of here. I am out of here. Okay, which way is it to the hut? I think it's this way. But I'm not even sure. I'm lost. This doesn't look familiar. Um, I know the pumpkins are fairly close. Oh, here's a spider out in the open. Let's get this guy. It might, this might be the way back anyway. I think it is. Not sure. No, I don't think it is. I'm lost. Anyway, spider, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 hits, so that's not great, but it's not terrible either. Did I get two pieces of string? No. Hmm, I'd like one more. Right there's wheat. I can make sandwiches with that. Now that I have a pick, I could actually make the things I need to make grain and flour. Uh, which way is back? Um, I'm lost. Well, I'll figure it out. And this time I really will meet you back at the hut. Well, if memory serves me right, we want copper and cassiterite, or cassiterite, whatever that is. We want these two. If we melt them together, we get bronze. And we want between 8 and 12% of this stuff. So this is 35 units times 7. 35 times 7 is, I don't know, 200 something. 2 times 15 is 30. 30 divided by the total of these units I think is like 10 point something. So that's between 8 and 12. So we are going to see if we can't get some bronze. That is the plan. I'm going to fire this stuff up and I'll let you know when it's done cooking up and we will enjoy the moment of truth together. So I'll fire it up. I'll let you know when it's done cooking. Be right back. Fire just went out. 
let me grab that. Let me head inside where it's safe. Torches went out again. It's been a couple days since I lit them. The moment of truth. Do we have bronze or do we have nothing? <laughs> we have bronze. I was right. Yes. All right. That's why you pay attention in chemistry and science class, children. Boys and girls, let that be a lesson to you. All righty. The Bronze Age has arrived, sort of. Sort of, but not really. And I'll take the leftover 75 units. We'll use that later. And there we go. Uh, here. That's where I stored the other stuff. Where is it? Here. All the leftover bits and pieces of the stuff. All right, well, that worked out pretty good. Uh, really, the next thing we need to do is get leather clothes. My stuff is wearing out fast. Pretty soon I'll be left with nothing. Get some leather clothes around. So I'm going to kill a few more spiders next time. Make a bow and arrow. And then we can go hunting for some deer. I know there's deer in this woods. Although, you know what, though? If we, we need arrows, that means we need pheasants or chickens. Hmm, I didn't think of that. I didn't see any pheasants. But anyway, next time. Next time we will go exploring for some wildlife. That'll be what we plan to do next. And I think these are right. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. get, a, get a little bit of a bedtime snack here. Is that a spider? Yes, spiders. Hey, hey, come to me. Three of them. Just one at a time, please. One at a time. Let's take turns. As soon as one of them sees me, I am out of here. There we go. This worked out pretty well. Let's see if I can knock him into the water. Come on. Back, 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 back. You. Ouch. I'm getting too aggressive here. Let him come to me. Okay, there we go. Now we can make a bow. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Yikes. Slowness because of thirst. Okay, back, back, back to the hut, to the hut, to the hut. Retreat. Fall back. Okay, there we go. I really need a window here. I guess I could knock a window out during the night. Um, but we've got our three string. We can make a bow. Let me just do that right away. Uh, let's see, like so. String it up. There we go. So now all we need is some birds for some feathers. Pheasants or chicken. And that is what we will do next time. And I've got tannin right here. I can unseal it. Brown liquid is tannin. I have marble I can crush into flux. I can do leather working next. I think I might do that. And then once I have a basic set of leather armor, then we are going to find out where we're going to settle down for our permanent settlement. So things are really looking good. Things are really looking good. We've got copper. We've got bronze. We've got a bow. We've got a few weapons now. No armor yet, but we'll take care of that next time. And after that, the only thing left to do is to find a permanent settlement, start building a forge room, a barn. Uh, we're going to build, uh, make some gardens. I'll make a root cellar. Um, yep, and start carving out the place where we're going to live for three years. But let's see, what day is it? It's the 1st of August. It's late summer. Uh, fall is coming up here soon. Uh, we're going to want to get a homestead picked out before winter sets in. We'll s drudge it out the first winter, and then come spring, we'll plant our garden and get started, uh, get a head start on getting a decent civilization hacked out of this wilderness. I'm pretty pleased. I am really pleased. These first couple months, the first couple weeks were really tough. I got beat up pretty badly with my... Uh, zombie attack and a spider that second night, first or second night here. But other than that, I can't complain. It's been a good first couple months, and I will see you guys next time.